Hello, friends. It's the Cinemondo podcast. Yeah. Those two. And <laughs> what, what kind of movie will never stop being made? Can you name a, a genre <laughs> that will never, ever, ever run out of stories? Sports movies. Exactly. That's sports. Great. Talk about sports today. <laughs> everybody's My, just turned off but don't turn it off we're talking about vampires no, 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 no. we're talking about okay. vampires like and it you know i mean ever since the original nosferatu up until you know so many great you know big budget and low budget vampire films it just will go on forever there might be lulls you know maybe after the twilight series people get a little yes. tired of vampires right then they come back there's up, a week know. where you don't there's have vampire that. movies <laughs> because then the market is flooded with like yeah. imitators of in that that cookie cutter form of we're going to do a twilight movie and then vampires get oversaturated and it's all kind of the same thing and everybody's bored right. and then someone comes up with some new thing and this i kind of think this is like kind of heralding in the new gritty vampire thing again this kind of comes in waves so i love that so i think they're kind of getting in that zone so That's here we go it works, you know, vampires. Yeah. the thing is it's one of those tropes you know it's one of those genres that's already established you know you can make a movie with a vampire and people already know the rules you know they yes, already right. kind of have you don't have to go through the whole thing you know when the moon is bright <laughs> and the and the, the yeah you know about the garlic and the uh you know silver you know the garlic and all that kind of stuff right. so uh yes. being invited into their house so this film, yeah. film is called Insane Like Me, with a question mark, Insane Like Me, uh, directed by like Chip you? Jocelyn, <laughs> like me, <laughs> me, and written and starring uh, Britt Bankhead, along with Grace Patterson and Eric Roberts, who, uh, Eric most everybody Robert. knows Eric Roberts, who was in so many, it's been so wow. many films, a big, long career. Yeah. And yeah. this is a low-budget vampire film that, I think punches above its weight, maybe is the term yeah. I would use. Like yeah. very you can tell it's yeah, not a lot of dishes. budget, yeah. but they went for it as far as the gore, you know, the blood splattering, uh the, there's you know severed heads and all kinds of practical stuff in there, which is always like if you're making a movie on a limited budget, I have no idea what the budget it was for this movie. Yeah. But um you have to be resourceful. You have to figure yeah. out ways of making it uh making it scary or making it fun. And this has a lot of fun in it too, is sort of like mm -hmm. sort of winking at the camera a little bit too. Yeah. So um and they sent us the screener and we said, okay, let's you know, I love experiencing a new film with people yeah. I, you know, other than Eric Roberts, don't know anybody else in this movie. Mm -hmm. But um it was a fun 90 minute rop that had all the stuff that you need. I mean, it's a, an interesting story about this combat veteran who comes back after a tour of duty and becomes a lead suspect in his girlfriend's disappearance and what goes into a uh, mental institution for like nine years. And then he comes out and he tries to figure out what happened to his girlfriend and meets up with uh, his girlfriend's younger sister and some of her friends, and they try to figure out what's going on. Eric Roberts plays the sheriff of the town, and he is also the father of the disappearing, uh, disappeared uh, daughter, and uh, you know, also the son who's this goofy de deputy, kind of the comedy relief. <laughs> the goofy goes, deputy, yeah, the one who was the worst, worst deputy ever, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's like he fell for the child vampire gag. <laughs> exactly there's a ch there's a ch child vampire that kind of pops in i mean i might have missed I wish that they'd like, done more of that i wish they'd done more of that it was like yeah. that was a cool little little fun it's part a, of the movie it's a creepy idea i mean they did it in an interview yeah. with the vampire um with the the idea of yes. i'm stuck at this age and also near dark remember that incredible performance by oh god he joshua so miller joshua was, miller was fan it's so sad and and, and also so just, tragic just, in that yeah, and he and let him in, right? convincingly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a let child him in, and let him in. That Swedish film that they yes. redid that was also a really yeah. wonderful, you know, event. So it has course, that in there. I mean, uh, but yeah. it's just like one scene, basically. It was almost yeah. like now the vampires are kind of, you know, they're kind of coming out of the woodwork, you know, almost literally. Right. And so now, you know, it's like he was just one of many that were, were starting to show up. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so you so the setup is there, and then the rest of the movie is trying to find out what happened to the daughter. And of course, we won't give away what happens in the film. I think that uh, you know you'll watch it for yourself. I'm sure There's it's streaming online. There are some twists. Really you know, good twists. Have, like 
I was kind of like, what? Like at the end, I was like, okay, I did not see that coming. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll, don't, you won't see it coming. <laughs> now you might, but I didn't. <laughs> so I applaud anybody who says, I'm, we're going to make a movie. We're going to get a group of people together. Maybe we yes. have an a, extra amount of money on the side to get somebody <laughs> like an Eric Roberts in. Because you see a lot of these actors who had these prolific careers yeah. that are now in these uh, sort of action pot boilers or horror films and you know john yeah. travolta jean claude van damme on and on bruce willis stated for a nick while cage. nick cage and he, they bring this you know professional yeah. you know sense of you know whatever the, you know just heaviness gravitas yeah. to the film that sort of gives it something and he does it in here i think yeah. it's also it's a like way to just... get funding too like if you're yeah. able to get you know if you're if you have a really sharp script and you're you're a convinced a convincing pitch person you can go to Eric Roberts or, or Eric Roberts' people and say, I think he would be perfect for the sheriff in this, give the script. And then once you have Eric Roberts, then suddenly other people might be willing yeah. to throw in some production money and right. some other things. And it, really horror is that forgiving genre that I think yeah. uh, it actually is better low budget. Uh, it's I just think the higher budget horror gets, I feel like diminishing returns a lot of it. I think you're I right. The most it, effective horror movies are those low budget kind of independent ones. They really are. Or things were not like... The, like I, there was a trend that started with horror films. I think that kind of took it down a little bit was when yeah. the, there had to be a gigantic large scale blowout at the yeah. end, you know, as opposed to something, I mean, think about the classic films that I always bring up, like, you know, the exorcist and Rosemary's baby and all those other ones that, you know, the, the, the building, the the Bramford did not explode and implode into a black hole and skeletons flying out. You know, it didn't have that kind of an ending. Right. And, you know, neither did The Exorcist, really. It was a and that's why I think you're absolutely right that a larger budget can sometimes yeah. damage yeah. a good Perfect. horror story. Perfect yeah. example is, you know, the, the original The Haunting is a classic. Yes. But then they remade made it. Jean yeah. DeBont made it in 1999 and it's got yeah. all the CGI and stuff. And it's just all bad. awful. But I will say the haunting, was great about the original. The Mike yeah. Flanagan series was amazing. That's yeah. a different story. Yeah, yeah. that was, so, that was the best one of all of his series. You understand anyway. the, the visceral nature of horror, like yeah. what it is about horror. And the smallness that, of it. It's yeah. the smallness. It's the unknown. It's the creepy out of the corner of your eye. It's the, the believability of don't it. Understand. The weird unsaid threat. You know, it's like, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. And that's here in, in, in this film and say like me, yeah. like there's, there's, yeah. you know, yeah, they've got the, they've got the, the vampire teeth in, but what do you do with that? How do you make that interesting? Yeah. You know, how do you, and, and for what they shot it on, it's, uh, it, it comes through. So it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It's a quick 80, yeah. five, eight, quick 85 minutes. I yeah. mean, it goes by really Packed. fast. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's almost like three different stories. There's the, there's the, the preamble when she disappears yeah. and he's in this insane asylum and what goes on there, then he gets out. That was pretty the, bad too. Ooh. Yeah, and what happens there, and then the third part, sort of the you know, going after and finding out what happened. So, but I like it too because, in a way, you know, he's not sure. He's in a way an unreliable narrator for himself because he gets out and he's his girlfriend's missing. He's and all the stuff that's kind of pointing to this re, this outrageous like scenario of vampire. Like yeah. he doesn't trust his own instincts in a way like he's like i'm gonna get it back and i'm gonna take him out it's like but he's still not totally sure i like that kind of a little bit of uncertainty i thought the actor mm -hmm. Britt was really good at portraying that because he seemed really tough but there was sort of this weird vulnerability and this uncertainty that i think helped that performance feel real you know because mm -hmm. you wouldn't he's not just like big tough guy going out and he was but there was that little bit of extra like am i insane <laughs> so right. I don't know. So I really like that. And I also enjoyed the uh, female vampires who were like the, they would kind of lure the tough guys, like the honky tonk, the bar bros who would like, you know, probably want to, you know, beat women, things like that. And they would just kind of turn the tables. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, Insane Like Me is uh, written and starring Britt Bankhead, who sort of gives me a, a kind of a Josh Brolin vibe. You can think of that kind of feel to yeah. him a little bit. Yeah, and, very Josh Brolin, you're right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, directed by Chip Joslin, also starring uh, Grace Patterson. So She was very uh, cute. I like Grace Patterson because she was kind of this bubbly, you know, super optimistic. Very, She seemed very um, good, you know, like the good person in this yeah, you know yeah. and then when she disappears and they're all trying to find her and he's trying to find it's like i love the twists along that way like your your preconceived notions of who her character was and how she portrayed it 
and how they twist and turn that a little bit. That was kind of nice yeah. too, because we're so used to the formula. Here's the the girl who's the victim, and here's the the boyfriend out for revenge, and here's and they kind of took that and just went <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, yeah. a little surprising. So I really enjoyed that. There's some some good things I didn't see coming. I really enjoyed that. So yeah. we really appreciate the fact that they sent us the screener and. Yeah. Uh, we really enjoyed watching it. So um, please check it out if you're out there and want to yeah. watch it. Uh, watch a yeah. good low budget vampire film, Insane Like right. Me, Insane right. Like Mark. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my fake teeth in. Um, We're done. Vampires, severed heads, gore, female <laughs> vampires, insane people, twist, yeah. Eric Roberts. That's all you need to know. That's Eric, Eric Roberts, all right? Eric Roberts yeah. twice. Yeah, Eric Roberts <laughs> twice. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks so much uh, for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>